Hello everyone, Kinley here with a quick predictions video. We're gonna discuss, and in my opinion, who's gonna win on the final day of the single round robin in LEC. So let's get straight into it. First of all, Team BDS against Team Heretics. This is a bit of a banger IMO, but I do think Team BDS has been looking very sharp, very good. They played an excellent game yesterday. And the day before, uh, keep in mind, they did lose both of those games. But I do think they showed a great game against Vitality. They think they showed a great game against G2. Both who are very tough opponents. They did kind of basically throw those games, okay? I do think they are an overall stronger team. I think Adam is the best top laner in LEC right now. And while well, Ruby and the mid bot arc more solid i do think the top diff and while well, uh, the rest of the team also being good enough uh, if not in some parts better than uh, team heretics i'm taking team bds over team heretic our next matchup is koi against astralis now koi looked excellent i would say i thought koi looked pretty good in the game against vitality However, <laughs> they did just kind of get rolled against G2. I listened to the Finn interview, and he said, if the vibes are good, we play good. And maybe I'm on the Astralis train. Maybe it's not the smartest option. I mean, Koi are the reigning champions, after all. They have won the previous split. Uh, the only change being uh, on the top lane from the previous split, which again is the Omni. But I believe in the vibes. I mean, Astralis just beat Fnatic, rolled over them. I mean, honestly, what's there even to say about that? Uh, Finn played phenomenally on the NAR. I think the bot lane is playing phenomenal. I think the Astralis bot lane, Kobe and Jonghoon, are probably the best bot lane in the league right now. Poi might be the ring ring champion, but Astralis has the momentum, they have the vibes, they have the belief. So I will be taking Astralis to win this one and Team BDS. Next matchup is SK against Fnatic. I mean, Fnatic just looks like a dumpster fire. I don't even know what to say. Like, they look... That Fnatic game against Mad Lions... The decision making, the drafting... There's I, it's not even worth talking about. SK Gaming all the way, baby. Woo! Mad Lions against G2. I did think this would be much more of a closer matchup, but still, I'm not that such a believer. Even though they got a, a pentakill against Team Heretics, but realistically, they should be a much better team than Heretics, and the team in Heretics pushed them really hard and made them dig deep, basically, in that game. So I will be taking G2 Esports. I don't think the Mad Lions will get that much of a lead in the early game. And if, if Mad Lions will get an early game lead, we've seen G2 every time they're ahead in the early game or even, they just stomp or win the game. It's only when G2 uh, loses early game that when they actually really struggle. And our last matchup of the day, Team Vitality against Team XL. I mean, <laughs> much like Fnatic, XL is an absolute dumpster fire and uh, ball 1v9s. The next thing we want to show is... Here's the prediction, BDS, Astralis, SK Gaming, GT Sports Vitality. And with these predictions coming true, uh, Vitality G2 will be pool 1, Mad SK pool 2, BDS Team Heretics pool 3, and Astralis Koi pool 4, with Fnatic and Excel coming out. And here's a mock draft of the groups. There you go, that's everything. Thanks for watching, bye. I love you.